Hey, all Kurt Sasso here from uh, TGT at C2E2 2011. We're here with Frank and Becky of Tiny Kitten Teeth. And how are you guys doing today? Good. Very well, thank you. Now, C2E2 is a wonderful convention. I'm glad to see you guys here, you know, all the way from New Zealand. I know you're, you're finally moving to the States here. Congratulations as well. Um, it, Tiny Kitten Teeth is one of those all-ages comics that everyone should read, has to read. Um, and I'm glad to see you guys back. But what's new for Tiny Kitten Teeth? Oh, like, we've got, like, first of all, like, moving has taken up a huge amount of our time, so we've been perhaps a little bit more relaxed with updates than we uh, would prefer to be. Relaxed is kind of a weak word. I'd say we've been completely neglectful of our poor, poor readers. Um, we have a, like, we're, at the moment we're doing a prequel to the comic, um, which we're hoping to publish later this year. Um, continue on with the comic, do chapter three, we're just finishing like, chapter two as well. Um, but we're also doing a graphic novel this year, um, which will be through a publisher that is not yet to be named, or a book that is not yet to be titled, but is definitely happening at this point. So we're doing a graphic novel. Um, and also a lot of gallery shows this year. It's going to be a big year for gallery shows. We're going to do a, another one of the uh, Tiger Butter Golden books that we released at C2E2 last year. Um, we'll have a new one at the end of the year and a gallery show to go with that. So it, it's, it's already a busy year for us. Yeah. <laughs> and I see that you have these wonderful, beautiful plushies here. And, uh, you know, when did you decide to create those? We made some white ones, I think it was like last year. Our friend Carla in New Zealand hand sews all of them for us. So, um, she's actually a tattoo artist. Yeah, she's a tattoo opinion. artist and she also sews. And we had to do white ones first because getting fleece there, there are certain colors that are only in season at certain times. So with the, the tiger butter ones we just got, she could only make, I think, like 10 of them in total. But uh, soon she's going to make some like little chibi ones that are a couple inches tall. And she's like, for those, she's going to make tons of them. So, yeah, yeah we'll, have, we'll have some more. As, as opposed to one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, they have to dye the sheep, I guess, you know, just to make sure that it all works out. Uh, isn't that how it goes? You know? Yeah. Yeah, the, the sheep dyeing industry is a fairly uh, profitable one in the oldie New Zealand. <laughs> But, you know, C2E2, uh, being a, this convention as it is, it's it's great to see the traffic that's coming through here. Um, but when it all closes up, when you finally head back to your new home, obviously, a what... three-day drive. Yes, a three-day drive at that. <laughs> <laughs> what are you personally going to take away experience-wise, both of you, from this? Well, like, we've always been big fans of Chicago as a city. Um, and some of Becky's family lives out here as well. Uh, so coming out here is always like a double vacation for us. We get to a comic show, we get to hang out with our family, and we also get to go to um, one of our favorite cities um, in the United States. So this convention is always a win-win for us at that point. Like, um, all bases are covered. Um, so yeah, it's, it's always quite fun like, being here. Even though it's only the second year, I think that like, some improvements have already been made to yeah. make this a more enjoyable convention, especially for webcomicers. Um, and I think next year we'll see a lot of webcomicers coming back. Um, I know a lot of them aren't here this weekend because they're at a wedding, um, which is actually true. Um, uh, Chris Hastings and uh, Carly, um, Dr. McMinja are getting married this weekend. Oh. So uh, webcomics ain't here for the most part. <laughs> so like, it seems like a lot of people still manage to come out, especially in like, the webcomics pavilion, which is great. I'm gonna let you go here, but it's 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 amazing. You know, I've always loved the hand painting work that you truly do. It's, it's talented, talented work. And uh, thanks again for this interview. It's a real pleasure. Thank you for having us again. <laughs>